On May 16th, India's largest public sector bank, State Bank of India, hiked the marginal cost of lending rate by 10 basis point across 10 years. This was the second hike by the PSP in a month, and it is expected to increase the EMIs further. But while EMIs are going up on one hand, so are rates on saving instruments. PNB, ICICI Bank, Axis, HDFC Bank and others raised rates on fixed deposits. With another hike on the anvil, it remains to be seen how fast such pass-throughs will work. For a regular saver, interest rates are rising. But data released by RBI last week showed that central bank was piling on its gold reserves. According to RBI, the gold reserves were up by 100 tons in two years. Meanwhile, as a proportion of total reserves, gold accounted for 7% of total forex reserves, the highest in last eight years. The share is only expected to go up if RBI will have to intervene in the market to stabilize the rupee. On Tuesday, the rupee touched an all-time low of 77.69 rupees per dollar. Talking of interventions, the government last week announced it would soon restructure its top head-hunting body, the Bank's Board Bureau, as its extended two-year term ended last month. The BBB is responsible for appointment of whole-time directors and non-executive chairpersons of PSBs and state-owned financial institutions. It also helps banks formulate growth strategies. One of the reasons for setting up of the BBB was to address instances of rising defaults and frauds in the banking system. However, as the situation is improving and most banks are coming up out of the slum, at least for now, the instances of fraud are also declining. Data released by RBI showed that public sector banks reported a 51% drop in the amount involved in frauds to 40,295 crore rupees in FY22, compared with 81,922 crore rupees in FY21. The number of fraud cases declined from 9,993 to 7,940 according to a reply to an RTI by the central bank. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.